election news this evening tonight. Some election officials say that they are putting some new measures in place this year to keep your vote safe and also just make sure that the voting process goes smoothly after allegations that earlier this year voter registrations went to non citizens. The state election commission reported getting threats after that happened. Richland County election officials have seen some disruptions recently, including a man they say went to several voter precincts and tried to film without permission. Our Josie Frost has more tonight. A spokesperson for the State Election Commission tells me they receive threatening phone calls and messages year round. They saw an uptick of them recently when the ACLU sued the State Election Commission and the DMV over an issue with their voter registration systems. Now, some county officials say it's time to beef up security. People are very passionate about elections and, and we want them to be. Lenise Shoemaker is the director of registrations and elections for Lexington County. This year, they've kept some of the old safety measures. We did put in um, glass in the front. Uh, we do have panic buttons. And added some new ones. These new books have directions on what to do in case of hostile encounters. They also started doing training with staff on de-escalation. Sometimes it's all about not what you say, it's how you say it and how we need to follow the law and to try to, uh, to, to give that same information to the voter. And so how can we say that in a way that's not threatening? Richland County's election director, Travis Alexander, says they have similar conflict de-escalation training. They've had three incidents this year that they've needed it. For example, someone brought in a GoPro and tried to film without permission. And if you got a camera right there, you, now you're taking uh, Just in case so the water doesn't go. So we had that incident happen last Friday at the Brook and also uh, this past Monday um, here at 2020 and 2011. Election officials in both Lexington and Richland County tell me the best way to ensure things go smoothly is to have everything prepared when you come to the precinct and to not wear or bring any campaign materials. Josie Frost, News 19, WLTX. Yeah, good reminder, Josie. Thanks so much not to wear or bring campaign materials with you. So you have to leave that T-shirt, that hat at home in order to cast your ballot. Now let's talk about these impressive early voting numbers that we have been seeing a massive turnout here in South Carolina. Got some new numbers for you. According to SC votes as of yesterday, 980,000 ballots have been cast here in South Carolina, which is already a about 40% of the total votes that were cast in the 2020 election. The last day for in person early voting will be Saturday. Don't forget polls open at 830 and they close at six o'clock. If you are in line at six, though, you are allowed to vote.